Welcome to Old Guy Tech. The OGT.TV recording studio. Technology for the rest of us. 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 Hi, I'm Rob Charney with Old Guy Tech TV, and we're here today on a roundtable discussion with Jonathan Charney and James Stevens. Hello. And once again, Hello. we are just here talking about strange and unusual things on the internet. So I'm going to let one of you, which one of you guys want to start this Let me out? get mine over with. Get yours over? Uh oh, is it that bad? i got to get it over yeah. with. Well, I think right. it's pretty cool, but it, it's, it's kind he of. He thinks it's cool, so let's it's, get it over with. All right, it's, let's it's kind of weak. Give us a synopsis. It's Come called on. the British Newspaper Archive. You have to pay for it, but this is pretty cool. You can actually get newspapers for the 1700s, the 1800s, and 1900s. So, okay, so. you can actually get a newspaper about Jack the Ripper? Yeah. That's kind of cool. So, so in other words, you can get newspapers for any day of the the year? Is that the whole idea? Like, if, yeah. you look up your birthday in 1890 on whatever day it may be. There's yeah. Somebody that's alive for 1890? Yeah. Well, I don't know. You know I guess, but, okay, so that's... Well, your, dad's pretty, your dad's pretty old. That's true. Hey. He's the one one that keeps saying he's the second cousin to Moses. Okay, so how much actually would it cost to get a paper about Jack the Ripper? It's all online, and I didn't actually get the prices. So it's not actually a real print. Well, we're not going to let you research your own stories. That's it? Hey, you can get a paper? No. (laughs) Well, no, it's it's the online digital archive. Wow. You you know, it's all online. It's Uh... not... You know, See, I was thinking you'd get like a hard copy. I was wondering what the comics would be like from back then. I doubt they had comics. They had political comments. Or comics, you know, com- like a, what are they, satire guys? I forget the name of the actual political comic strips. But they had to have them back then. Yeah, well, I'm just, you know, it's it's all on, It's uh, it looked like it was all online. It's all digital. Everything's been scanned in. Wait, how far back did you say it went? Well, according to the, the, the front page, it goes, you know, free example pages from 1700s, 1800s, and 1900s. So you could probably get an homage of them probably hanging George Washington as a yeah. traitor. See, I think it'd be cool to get one from 1776. What's yeah, it You didn't get the price. Never mind. But it's all in pounds anyway, so that was part of the... Well, I think it's like, what is it coming out to? One pound American is well, it's a like dollar two- something. Or it's like two or three to one. Yeah, something yeah, like that. Yeah, it depends. I, I yeah. don't know what it's at right now. It's right. the fact that Canadian money is worth more than the U.S. currency right that now. That is scary. As long as we're not past the peso. Right. Yeah. <laughs> if we get past the peso, then we're really in Well, trouble. we have a real problem with that. One. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Um, oh, there goes another one. Okay, so did you want to go... F- no, you go ahead. Okay. I'll do mine at the end because it, it probably will be the end of this show. After I so do the headline on this one is <laughs> Wife Kills... Then Cook's husband. Have you guys heard of this one yet? Was, yeah, Kath- I think, I think was I Kathy Bates it. in this one? No. no. Now, this is a story. Now, th- I kind of have to say I don't judge this woman. I don't think she went about it properly. But in the country that she's in, I think she dis- did need to take it into her own hands what she did. A Pakistani woman named Zainab Bibi. Don't ask me to say that fast. Age 32, killed her husband and reportedly cooked his body parts to dispose of the body because he wanted a physical relationship with their daughter. She said she did not regret her actions. I killed my husband before he dared to touch my daughter. That's quotes. Uh, CNN has the report and video. Apparently, she did not use enough seasoning while cooking, (laughs) cooking him because the neighbors smelled a foul odor. Could just be the stench of a pedophile. Um, so CNN has the video of her cooking her husband. Is that I don't know. I, was, this is actually a, like. this. I found this one off so, of Right Truth. Now I've heard a few different uh, stories on this one. Um, she used uh, uh, spice. Indian spice, uh, korab. I think is. I don't remember the actual one. Um, but it's a Mix, even, but, uh, but it's a strong spice but I, like they said I guess they didn't use enough the neighbors said there was a foul order a few of the stories I heard on it uh, there was one that said that he actually did molest the daughter another one was saying she didn't I'm assuming that since that's quotes from her yeah. he didn't actually get to do it yeah. somebody else was saying that's the stepdaughter of hers so it's actually his legitimate daughter and it well, was um, his legitimate daughter yeah what well, was yeah but I gotta say, I I don't put enough think, curry in it. I don't think her actions were wrong in protecting her daughter. I think that 
they, they don't have women's lib out there. So say this again. Now she she actually cooked them. Did she get the service? Yes, uh, she got her nephew, uh, uh, the nephew involved, yeah. and he helped to try to kill the husband and dispo- uh, dismember. Yeah, dismember the and get rid of the body. Now I was kind of curious. What is she actually? Is she cooking this and throwing it in the garbage? Is she cooking this and serving this to the neighbors? Oh yeah, what exactly. Was, That's the what question. was her purpose of cooking I, him? Was that green fried tomatoes? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's I would have thrown out Kathy Bates. Yeah, I would have yeah. totally okay. given it to the government, like the the local government. You like handed out to the cops free food, free food. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I mean, because she really couldn't go to the police, honestly, but what, because out there, it, right. the woman is always wrong. Right. Yeah. The woman is always in submission to She's the man. Property. And if it came down to it, it would be he said, she said, and she would eventually lose rights of anything on the daughter if she took it, tried to take it into any type of court. So I got to say, it's kind of one of those things that's a toss up. Is she really like doing something completely evil? I think trying to dispose of the body by doing it that way, but she is going to get killed. There's, there's no question. Say, yeah, She's well, in Pakistan. They'll, 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 they'll execute her. They're going to execute, execute her. Right. Well, the question so, is, but, are they going to serve her? Oh, uh, ha, ha, ha. No, so I, I'm serve her to the other prisoners. Serve her I, well, I'm papers? serious. No, actually, serve her. I mean, no, you know, I, I kill her and serve her. I, I yeah. don't think so. Man. I don't think that they won't do that. They'll probably just uh, shoot her or uh, chop her head off or something. Um, but I think it's kind of sad that she's actually going to get killed over this. I think it was really great that she actually stood up for her daughter. I don't think she went about it the right way. Well, it but goes, what options it, did she really have? Yeah. See, the sad part he wasn't is, a nice guy. The sad part is is that in that culture, the man is always he right. Cut the buster. <laughs> Sorry. God. Sorry, I apologize. He was just yeah, a cut above the rest. No, but, but, but the point is, I mean, seriously. if you want to get a little serious on this for a moment, the, the, the women have no rights there. Oh, yeah. exactly. No matter what happens, she's, she's, she's in the wrong. wrong. Exactly. Right? So that's why I'm thinking, like, I understand that she was trying to get away with it by disposing of the body that way. It was kind of stupid, but, you know, it's one of those things that she's got the motherly instinct obviously well, going on, killed him, right. didn't know what to do, right. panicked, started cooking him. <laughs> Couldn't put enough I, I spice start, to get rid I of the start, body. I, I start cooking anytime I panic. T- anytime I, know, I panic, go. too. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I gotta start cooking. She, she needed wild pigs. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, it's it's, it's kind of just one of those things that's like we're it's making light of a tragic story. But it is know, a tragic it's story. It's a very, it really very tragic story. It is. But yeah. I just find it kind of. It's really like like I said. It's one of those things that you're kind of in a toss up. You're like, well, she did wrong. Obviously, there is wrong there, but she did it for right reasons. Well, I mean, it's, it, it, is it wrong because of the fact that was the only way there would have been justice for the kid? Well, I mean, serve. I mean, the, the, besides the cannibalism, the fact the fact that yeah. she murdered somebody because of the fact there was there was no other way that she would have been able to protect the kid. I, well, I'm saying the wrong part was actually killing him. There really isn't any other option. She could have tried, fought, she probably was going to lose. But I'm saying just in our culture as Americans looking at it from the outside in, we're always going to say that's wrong. I don't really have a problem with that. I don't really have a problem with her killing it. I think she there must have been another way to go about it. Maybe leave, run away, take the daughter, escape, get out of the country. That's an option. She might have not had the money. Well, it really depends if, you know. But obviously there was family members that were willing to help her. Because the nephew stepped in. Yeah, but right. if she left the country, and what it's if a she male actually... nephew, so I mean, it's obviously a male. Well, yeah, what's nephew, happening but... to him? Does it specify? Uh, it didn't say anything about that. Uh, this story, like I said, this is just kind of one that I kind of found that kind of covered some of the basics of it. Didn't really go into to the real in depth that I found in the first story. I well, think the first be one. Charged. Heard... He'll probably be charged because, as well. Because, but... because my thought is she's going to get the charges influencing him and to do it because she's the she's the woman she influenced him to to do the deed for. Her. I'm assuming my guess would that she's going to get the punishment. He's. You know, no. I don't know. I really don't know. It's, yeah. it's he might get a slap a, on the wrist, and she's going to get her head chopped off. It, I don't know. It's I just know that she is pretty much about guaranteed dead at this. Yeah, point. it just it just seemed like you know she was up a creek without a paddle. She really had no really choice. What it sounds like you know, I would. My only thing is, if you were in his situation, would you have done the same thing? Because you might not be able to escape because, you know, I don't know the country, but are they required to have papers when leaving the country? I don't know. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, I would have killed him and and tried fleeing off to Israel. Come on, Pakistan. Come to Israel. (laughs) But but you're a cook. You could have at least hit the smell. I don't want to touch that dirty man. (laughs) 
<laughs> Apparently, either should she yeah, did she not? But um, got a knife. Yeah, yeah, I don't. I don't know. That's sad. It is sad. All right. It's a bummer, dude. Uh, the only good thing out of the story is the daughter did not get molested. Well, that's the good thing. Yeah. That's the only good thing. Hopefully, out of the story. yeah, yeah. Allegedly, she didn't get. I yeah. mean, because there's really no proof one way or another. Yeah, there really isn't. Well, but... I got one for you. Uh, have you guys been all worried and upset the fact that the end of the year is next year, according to the Mayan calendar? Uh, well, no. no, according to a couple people, is this year? Yeah, yeah. Well, that you know, there's. There's that one guy that comes out and says it's every six months the world's going to come yeah, to the end. But, yeah. but he's just you know, initially around. the Mayan calendar was going to, uh, wow. 20, 2012 was going to be the end. We weren't name dropping. I just threw it out there. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. So he's out there with OWS. <laughs> nice one. Nice. All right. <laughs> Moving on. Okay. Yeah. I'm I missed so that scared. whole conversation. I must be old. We'll, we'll, we'll explain it we'll to you later. We'll explain it to you later. Okay, thanks. Okay, got if the it. audience catches any of that, we'll be I'm proud. the old guy, remember? You're supposed to help me out here. Yeah, you got to take it easy. Well, anyway, you take it easy on me. We'll send out smoke signals or, uh, you know, uh, Morse code for you. That's right, yeah, yeah. Well, anyway, they found out when they really started studying uh, the Mayan calendar, um, it marks the end of 5,126-year-old uh, cycles around December 12, 2012. Uh, Wait, what? A cycle of what? Yeah, they did, like a menstrual did, cycle of the earth? Yeah, What's they going did, on they, here? Their, their calendar is done in cycles. And in this particular case, it's That's a, a cycle of 5,126 cycles. I'm not paying attention to it. <laughs> yeah. oh, wow, John. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, continue. <laughs> Just don't ask. So, so what exactly, um, did, did they say exactly what they think the cycle is? I don't even care anymore. <laughs> I, I don't blame you. I'm right there with you. No, but I actually want to know, though. I'm, I'm oh. curious. Do, do do they know? Because you know, you you know, you grow up here, and they always say how you know the Mayan calendar was the most exact calendar ever made, and well, then then all of a sudden it ends. Well, you know? as it turns out, it, it it ends in cycles, but it starts again. So they're calling. They're saying that the the calendar. Uh, on December 12th, 2012, ends a cycle, one of their cycles, that is 5,126 years old. But the cycle is going to start again. How do they find out it starts again? Um, I guess they've been busy reading the text and trying to get more in-depth information as to um, how the Mayan calendar actually works. And so they, they found out more details. And as it turns out, if the devil is in the details, they've been wrong all along. <laughs> I could have told them that. So, you know, it's kind of like... If you give me a call, I would have told them they're wrong. So it's like yeah. the Matrix, then. It resets. It resets. Rebooted. Yeah, we reboot. See, they just could have had Keanu say it. So this is pretty much just a repeat of Y2K. It could be. That's what it sounds like to me. So the Mayans, then, they have to shift their rocks around a little bit or something. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, that was going to be funny, but you guys destroyed that one. Oh, no, it was so hilarious. It was hilarious on our part. You just went, you know, whoom. Actually, I can't blame you for not catching that stuff. Well, actually, I, I, I was busy thinking. It was a little, <laughs> we were, it wasn't, it wasn't we were subtle. thinking, too. It, was just oh, okay. it wasn't subtle, either. Good grief. All right, here's on tech news. I'll end on, I got one more to end on, but another okay. one now. Go ahead. Um. Google Chrome browser appears to be soaring up in the charts, taking over the number two spot from Firefox. I'm Ooh, not surprised. So Chrome, what is one? What is number one? I.e. I.e. Still. Okay, yeah, and that's I.e. Right. is the number one. Yeah, but, new browsers. It shipped, <laughs> but not by be, much, though. Yeah, and only because it's you know it shipped with the. Everybody had basically has to start with IE when you load that, up your that's what Windows. I'm saying, first, you know, so yeah. you've got it. It's, IE is the number one browser to download other browsers. Exactly. <laughs> but, yeah. I don't know. I still like Firefox, but it's it's you know See, mainly I, be, I'm so I just don't like Google all that much. I am so not with Firefox anymore. I, it, that program is yeah, so buggy. I and, like. I really do like Google Chrome. The some of the things I don't like is some of the add-ons that they have for it. Are, well, they are, don't hear nearly the number of Firefox. But it but, doesn't need the add Well, that, that's, that's exactly the, the issue. Point. You don't need to keep doing all these plugins. And I mean, well, yeah. the, the problem is there's there's some things that I I, I like. 
Yeah, but the new the new Firefox isn't able to do the stuff that the older versions of Firefox do. Like, you can't really use DivX browse DivX with it anymore. The DivX web player doesn't work with the new uh, Firefox. Not very well. Most recent play- it locks version. it up mostly. Um, and the really good ones that that you download that are uh, third person party add-ons for Firefox don't work with it either. Uh, the IE tab no longer works with the newest version. Yeah, Unless well, they that, fix that. That one was, always, well, that one was always weird to begin with. I always had issues with it since the beginning of it. And then what, what's the other one that doesn't work? Oh, the new tab homepage doesn't work with the new uh, there's Firefox. Only, there's so, honestly, there's yeah. only... Th- those are the ones that you really, really need to use it I mean, to its for, full For me potential. personally, there's only... And I haven't looked at... Uh, for one of them, I use NoScript. I love NoScript. I, I won't use a, a browser that doesn't have NoScript. Well, don't get me wrong. I do like the the bug me not the. Well, I mean, the, here, well, the yes, well, I yeah. think the, the, the three to me that well, the, the trust. There's a number well, of no, ones, the, but the, I mean, there's only there's, for me, honestly, there's only two. I mean, I want no script. I want AdBlock, and LastPass and Xbox. So the only three I actually only four. Well, so you I don't actually use bug need. me not anymore. You used to. Not really. Well, okay. you know what? Take a look at Chrome, and I, they may be there. I mean, I, I kind of like straight out of the box Chrome. Don't add anything onto it. Doesn't slow anything that, down. It, do. it loads so much faster. And another well, another program I absolutely love just because I, I think it's handy. It's called HTTPS Everywhere. Hmm. Um, basically, what it is, it's an add-on. Anytime you go to Google, it automatically goes to HTTPS well, Google, which is the, the you know secure the secure side of right. Google. One of the things I'll say about Google uh, Google Chrome is that. I don't know how many add-ons are in it. There, there's a ton. There's a ton. There's probably stuff just for everything that you're just saying right there. There's probably different names. Um, I agree with Rob. I don't. I don't see the need for it. Um, take a look at it. See what add-ons there are. They even have game add-ons. They have uh, yeah. Mario Brothers on there. The original Mario Brothers. I have my console. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't work very well. Actually, yes, it does. Oh, you're, you're, going to carry your cons- you're going to carry your console around with everywhere you go. But what I'm my saying NES, is, we played it in my room the other day. But what I'm saying is, just take a look at it. Take a look. Well, okay. See, see, what's it, see what pro- features they have. My problem. I haven't gone through it all. My problem. I'm just not a big fan of Google. Well, that's fine. You don't have to be a big fan of Google. Yeah, personally, we don't care. <laughs> But anyway, no, I agree with you on the fact that I, I, I do like lot. Firefox, but there is a point where Firefox is just nostalgic, and then there's oh, no, the new, I, I, newer, newer and better versions yeah. out there. Well, my only problem with Firefox is how slow it's gotten. I mean, it uses a crazy amount of, you know, memory. But see, I don't use all the add-ons that you do. I use, like I said, I use that uh, new tab homepage because I like having it where I can click and just go to the homepage that I want it to go to instead of some Blake screen. And I want the DivX player back. DivX player does not work. It usually locks up Firefox, and then I have to force close it. And, you know, I want the... What is it? Oh, IE tab. I want IE tab back. Those are the three I care about. Right. Yeah. I see. can do without anything else. I mean, I like the ADP. Ad block or AB. Whatever. Ad block plus. Yeah, ABP. And I like the, you know, bug me not. I like, you know, I didn't really get into no script. I thought it was kind of lame because I was trying to do some stuff and I couldn't because I had to find out what script yeah. I had to unblock. See, I liked no script. <laughs> I like no script because it stops anything from running without me it choosing it. And that's Absolutely. the thing I like. Yeah. And, and, and then, you, you know. See, to me, that's just one more step making you have to do things. Well, see, yeah. that doesn't bug me, though. I don't go to the sites you must go to that need to stop those scripts. So. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Well, you I mean, might have to put parental controls on them. Uh, yeah, <laughs> well, I mean, one of the problems, for example, is when they found about those super cookies. Uh, those super cookies that you can't delete, that, right, you know. Right. So it was just kind of, I, I happen to like it. It's like how they just found out about Carrier IQ. They mm. found out that the carriers were actually tracking everybody. And there's a big hubbub about it. Yeah. So I don't know. I just happen. I just happen to like it. Is is it? Does everybody need it? Not really. But I happen to enjoy it. Okay. Well, that's that's fair enough. And you know, if, if I'm going on, you know, like uh, some odd, you know, sharing site because there's an indie movie I want to watch. You know that they have all this this crap I don't want to see, and it's the only way I can see the movie. Right. Then that's then at least I can just see the movie without all the extraneous stuff. Right. Yeah, I agree with that. I do like that feature. I would rather personally pay or rent the movie but it, that's not possible because it's such an obscure random 
thing. I mean, James knows what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, I do. I, I understand what you're saying. And I do like the fact that I can block tons of ads that happen in, in some of those sites. Um, you can't do that with Google Chrome as far as I've found. I'm saying there are add-ons that I don't know about on Google Chrome. No, I'll, I'll take a do look. That. I'll take a look. I mean, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just not a big Google fan, I understand but I'll take it, a look. But I think you'll like it. I mean, it, it's so much faster, John. It's Anybody that I've ever introduced Google Chrome to, like it. Yeah. yeah if they take the time and give it a chance. I just don't think they have the, the fundamental problem I have with Google, though. Is that's the only issue? Well, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Well, anyway, so the, um, statistically, um, IE has 40% of the market. Uh, Chrome now has 25% of the market, and uh, Firefox is, has down to 20% now. Oh, and wow. then the remaining operas and other um, my, iterations are My there. thing about that, Safari though, is I think that was, blah, 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 I, right. I don't think that was Chrome's to gain. I think it was Firefox's to lose. I think it it's was. IE's to lose because... They, they they didn't fix the fix the memory leak issue. They have all these issues that it uses a tremendous amount of 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 memory. Right. So that's the problem. I, I don't I don't know how much they actually they actually gained by by market share, but I think they I think they picked it up just because Hello. We're having a little problem. Because no, of, because of bad <laughs> Firefox is. Yeah. I mean well, I, 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 be, I've been thinking be, about switching know. to Chrome for a while just because I'm getting tired of you know, using four hundred, you know, four hundred thousand k of of memory on my computer. Right. Well, the, the, you know, the memory leak is a big issue, and they just don't seem to address it. Mm -hmm. And it's been known for years now. And now they're mm -hmm. and now they're doing uh, Google's uh, thing where they they just anytime they come up with an upgrade, it's a new version number. Right. Yeah. Right. You know. So well, anyway, give it a try. I suggest if you're watching our show uh, and you haven't used Chrome, go to Chrome. I'll go to Google's page and just download Chrome. I think you might like it. It's a, it's a very, very quick browser. <laughs> it, it works very well. Um, I'm really happy with and it. And it's so. pretty user-friendly once my, you kind of play with it a little bit. My, yeah. my favorite thing is how they got rid of the search bar, right, in uh, Firefox. Uh, you know, how I've, I've heard Chrome doesn't have the search bar like Firefox does. Well, no, the, the, your, your URL bar is the funny, your search bar. Well, the funniest thing is IE did that before anybody, and they never get credit for it. I used to do that with IE originally. Sure. Yeah. Well, I, thought, I, I just I, think, I just it's think it's been, funny. I think it's been a standard in, in all the browsers. People just didn't realize it. They were looking for a separate window. I, well, or I box actually, or I well, I'm I'm not definitely I'm definitely not the, the normal user. What I actually use it for is I won't I generally don't search from that bar. I'll go to it, click it, and then you just type in the little bar. For me, it's more like a placeholder for multiple search engines I use. Yeah. Whether it's uh, yeah. DuckDuckGo, you know, or uh, Google, Bing. You know, I still do like Bing. Oh, I do too. I, you know, there's some real features with Bing um, that just works. Know, I, unfortunately, I mean, yeah. it's it's not as good a search engine as as Google is. Um, it did just right now. It's not the thing I like about Bing is I love the opening screen. I love how clean it is. Yeah. Generally, if I want to have to get minutia, I always have to go to Google. Mm. Yeah. Well, but I I have I love Bing though. It's there's something about Bing that feels nice, and yeah. Friendly, versus a blank white page with yeah. a little box that says Google. Yeah. Like, I guess my like my, that, my problem with Google's all together is all the information they store. But you know, I guess that's you know, I guess what's that, his, is what's his name said. Uh, there's a, a, a famous tech guy who's said privacy is dead. Get over it. So. Yeah. Well, yeah. he's right. Yeah, he's right. Unfortunately. Well, I have one more thing to end this show on, and this is kind of disturbing. So we're not going to show it any closer than on the screen behind here. This is, um, I guess, one of our uh, law enforcement officers in this country here took it upon himself to have a little bit of fun uh, right on top of his uh, squad car. Uh, he's laying it to the man, or the woman in this case. Yeah, he's definitely laying it to the woman. <laughs> so and, is that a and prostitute? the sad part is, the sad part is, <laughs> is he, he did it in a lot that has a camera that... Uh, police officer wasn't able to know that there was already a camera on him. What did he do? Did he turn his camera off of his squad car, too? Probably. I didn't think you were able to do that. Well, I didn't think you were supposed to be able to do that, but um, unfortunately, and that's as close as I'm going to let you guys see it, uh, uh, 
Strange things. Okay, so there are strange bedfellows. What so happened say, huh? to him? And was this a mistress? Was this a prostitute? Uh, or was this know, his girlfriend? And did she sure pay for dry be, cleaning? There is going to be uh, a big internal investigation on this because uh, was this a way to get out of a ticket? Was yeah, this, exactly. You know, did he do it under the cover of uh, his badge? You know, um, well, there's yeah. a lot of questions. Of course, this is rise. like that that the penis pump judge. Yes, his. Right. You hear what happened to him? Yeah. yeah, he got his pension taken away. Right. He lost every. He lost yeah. his entire retirement because of that. Yeah. So you know, on, on the worst case, this guy loses everything. You know, on, on the best case, if the, the guy really used his. <laughs> his Be careful with your wording. <laughs> his, you know, his his authority as a police officer. Uh, yes. You know to. Yeah. Yeah. yeah to okay. you know <laughs> to uh, get in the middle of some sort of coitus. There, he definitely should lose his job or possibly go to jail. Well, all I can say is uh, pictures uh, speak a thousand, a words. thousand words. So we got to see the pictures. So we're going to end the show on that low <laughs> note. I'm but sorry to say. But he left oh, a thousand oh, words. But, but, but there's a positive side, though. <laughs> yes, it that? doesn't look like he could be accused of rape, though. Because if there's a picture of that, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't. Yeah, I don't think it was. I think it was consensual. Mutual what, combat. What, well, it looks like it's consensual, but it could be uh, under derision or what is it? Under what duress? That? Duress, yeah. Yeah, well, we don't, we don't know the whole story, but I'm, I'm sure we'll find out more soon. Cartman yeah. would, you know, have a field day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to wrap right. this one up. This has been another one. Uh, this is Rob Charney, John Charney, James Stevens here on Roundtable Discussion. We'll see you next time. Thanks. Hi, this is Rob Charney with Old Guy Tech TV, and I want to talk to you today about Windfall. Windfall has two outstanding offers for you to take advantage of. They have their 12-week business-only ad for just $60. That's just $5 a week. You're not going to find a better deal anywhere. Windfall has a rewards program like no other, a real windfall. Give us five and your ad is free. So refer five people or businesses and you get your ad for free. Visit Windfall on the web at www.shopthewindfall.com or call 530-621-1698. Everybody needs a Windfall. Thank you, Windfall. See you soon.